Hey everyone, welcome back to another iLogic video. In this video, I want to go over feature suppression and unsuppression with iLogic. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Let me unsuppress this rule and then go to this form. Uh, so I have this uh, drop down uh, list for the user to select either square tube or round tube. So if I wanted a square tube, the user would have, would have to select round tube and well, did I just say square tube? Yeah, I meant to say round tube and it does it uh, the round two for us so that's what i want to show you how to write today and before we get started i do have a huge favor i'd ask of you and that's just to hit that like button smash it uh, what, do whatever you want to make it turn blue uh, it helps me out and yeah it really does help me out and uh, so let's get started if i open up this file uh, we can see that it has some features over here to the left we have some round uh, shape uh, round shape uh, features and then some square shape features what this code is basically doing is it's on suppressing uh, these guys if I wanted a square and it suppresses these two if I wanted a square so let's say I wanted to make this a square I would have to suppress these features and then unsuppress these guys and we have a square tube leg now so that's basically what the iLogic is doing and I think we're ready to get started with the code with the rule I mean uh, but before we do that, we want to visualize what it is uh, that we need to do. Uh, what is it that we're trying to automate? What we, what we want to do is make a form uh, easy for the user to quickly select round and square tube. Uh, so the first step would actually be to make a parameter, which I already have uh, made already. Uh, so I called it leg shape, and it has two values or two options, round tube and square tube. That would be the first step, and you, you, go, you also got to make it key so that you can make it into a form. And the second step, uh, you know, we want to visualize what it is we want to do. Uh, if, it, if the user selects a round tube, we want it to suppress some features. If the user selects a square tube, we want it to su uh, suppress some other features. So that's uh, the gist of the code. So let's go ahead and get started uh, with this. I'm going to suppress this one and I'm going to make a new one called rule four. All right. So let's start off with uh, our if statement. If leg shape, which we could also see over here, uh, right there. And we also know uh, if we type it right, if it turns blue. So if leg shape is equal to round tube, then do something. Uh, else if leg shape is equal to square tube, then do something else. And then end if. We always have to have that end if. So we want to uh, suppress some features and we want to use uh, these uh, helpful uh, snippets that iLogic provides us. And just by judging from the name, we can, we can logically guess that it's going to be under features. And since we're in assembly, we're going to have to use these ones in, uh, instead of these top ones. And that's why it has assembly, uh, just to help you out. And let's type enter. I'm going to double click this one. This one is the one that suppresses and unsuppresses. When I double click it, it's asking for two things. It's asking for the component occurrence, which is leg. Like It's like, which one do you want to mess with? And I want to mess with leg. So I'm going to type leg between those quotations. And then it's asking, well, what feature do you want to mess with? And let's go ahead and drop this down. I want to mess with these features. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to type in right here what I see round shape so if we select round tube I want that to be uh, true uh, and what true basically means is uh, it's active and meaning it's not suppressed and if I type false it means it's suppressed so let's go ahead and type this again feature is active leg let's do the next feature and that is uh, round spreader cut Oops. that is equal to uh, true and then the next features we want to suppress leg square shape and that's equal to false feature is active leg uh, square spreader cut that's equal to false all right now when we want to do the square tube um, you know I want to show you something uh, something cool if we right click this uh, uh, and we press capture current state we get all this uh, stuff right here we can mess with the parameters of the feature uh, which I 
don't really want to do so I can just go ahead and delete it it's not gonna mess anything uh, it's just letting me know that I can do that and so, so this basically writes the code for you it's saying that right now currently this feature is uh, is not suppressed and it's true so that's what it's uh, doing right here and you know I could also do this for the next feature uh, I had to delete all this maybe it's not that fast yeah it's kind of slowing me down here I think we'll be faster if I just copy this over here do that to false let me just type false so when we select square tube uh, it's going to activate the square features if, uh, and suppress the round features so that's that's the code to suppress and unsuppress features let me just type a message box so that we know we are running this code and not another one so let's go back to our form and let's say we wanted a well it's already square tube so it's not going to do anything uh, but let's say we wanted a round tube we just go ahead and select it and it should change it to round tube all right so there you go uh, this was a pretty basic video but hopefully it, it's helpful for you maybe you have some application where you can apply this to and uh, please make sure to subscribe I do make these videos often and you don't want to miss out well, I hope you don't want to miss out <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys later.